Wi-Fi issues are very common, especially when the Wi-Fi icon is missing or the Wi-Fi doesn't show up in the settings or while connecting. In this video, I'll show you an effective and updated solution to help you resolve these issues. Let's get started. First, we need to ensure that the issue is with your computer's software and not hardware. To check this, click on the Windows search bar and type CMD. Right click on the command prompt and select run as an administrator. Click yes when prompted. Now in the command prompt, let's type ping space google.com and hit enter. If you get a reply back, it means your Wi-Fi hardware is good and the problem is only with your computer's settings. If the hardware is fine, we can process with troubleshooting. First, check if your Wi-Fi button on your keyboard or laptop is disabled. Now, many people accidentally disable this button, causing the Wi-Fi issue. Ensure that the Wi-Fi key and the airplane mode are not disabled. Next, let's run the network troubleshooter. Click on the Windows search bar and let's type troubleshoot and click on the troubleshoot settings, then click on other troubleshooters and find the network and internet option and click run. The troubleshooter will check for any problems and either fix them or provide a suggestions. Right click on the windows icon and select run and let's type gpedit.msc. Now, if you're using Windows 10 or 11 Home Edition, you might not have the Group Policy Editor. I've created a video on how to enable it for Home Editions, so you can find the link down in the descriptions. Once in the Group Policy Editor, let's navigate to User Configurations, then Administrative Templates, then Start Menu and Taskbar. Find Remove the Network icon, double-click on it, and disable the option. Click Apply and then OK. Next, let's click on the Windows search bar and type Services and hit Enter. Look for the WLAN Auto Config in the list. Double click on it and ensure the startup type is set to automatic and the service status is running. If it's stop, click on Start, then Apply and then OK. Right click on the Windows icon and select Device Manager and look for the network adapters. Double click on it and find either Intel or Realtalk Wi-Fi option. If you don't see it, click on the View menu and select Show Hidden Devices. If it's still missing, click on Action and scan for hardware changes. Once you find the Wi-Fi option, right click on it and choose Disable Device. Wait a moment, then right click on it again and select enable device and check to see if the issue has been resolved. If the problem persists, right click on the Wi-Fi adapter in device manager and select uninstall device. Confirm by clicking uninstall and now it should self install. If the Wi-Fi option is still missing, open a browser and let's search for Intel Wi-Fi driver for Windows 11 or Windows 10, whichever you're using. Download the appropriate driver from the Intel website, install it, and restart your PC, and check to see if the problem has been resolved. All right, hopefully one of these solutions resolves your issue. Please let us know in the comment section which one worked for you. And as always, like and subscribe for more content like this. Bye for now.